Did you get working? Here. So I'm making, this is our side because we're having barbecue chicken for dinner. Uh, we didn't have a ton of vegetables, so I cut you their leftover rice, and I chopped up onions and sauteed them. And then the leftover veggies from last night, which is like squash, zucchini, broccoli, and some snap peas. And I sauteed it all together. And then I added canned pineapple and corn uh, to make it a little more zesty. I get the Hawaii girl, so I get good grill marks on each side, and then I drop the grill a little bit lower so it doesn't burn. Um, and then we cook it a little bit lower uh, to get it cooked all the way through. And it's delicious. Beautiful day in Portland. It. We're in Happy Valley. We're playing with our new camera. Playing with our new camera. Working on doing some videoing, some. Oh, good job. Figuring this thing out. Okay, so we got our camera because we're gonna start vlogging. It's like a blog, but with video. That's why it's called a blog. In our lives, mm -hmm. and what we do every day. And all the stuff we have going on. And, and training. Training. And life. All right, it's morning time here at the Vander Ford house. So today, uh, Paige has got a photo shoot this morning, and I've got training. Uh, typically, Paige would train too, but she's got surgery in a couple days, so we are. She's got to get a couple things done before before surgery starts. So. Yeah, so she'll be, she's coming to the gym with me, so I'll come and work on, on striking this morning with our coach Robert, and she'll do a photo shoot, so. Her wifey. So yeah, Paige has got surgery on Thursday. I don't really know the time yet, but it's one of those things where it's kind of, I know it sucks for her and she is really not looking forward to it, uh, but I'm happy that it's getting done and that we can like start the recovery process now because the way that her arm is right now, it, it won't heal right, so you know it's basically wasted time right now. And uh, I know how bad she wants to get back in and start fighting and all that. So this is step one, getting the surgery done. So it's a sucky surgery, but looking forward to getting it done and going on with the recovery process. Good morning. Coffee. He has training with Robert, who will be is just a really fun, crazy person, huh? He's a crazy Italian. <laughs> wow, I'm tired. Okay, so yeah, my parents get in tonight. They'll be able to spend one one day with us before I have surgery, because um, today is Tuesday. Tuesday, I have surgery on Thursday to get my arm fixed. I get this. Can't really, well, there it is. This little hump taken out of my arm. So, yay. <laughs> with my new camera, our new camera. I am here at American Top Team PDX, American Top Team Portland. Um, I wanna show you all around um, so you can see where we are every day. And, whoa, this camera does really cool stuff. Wow, okay, oh, there's me. Hi guys. Okay, so this is the weight area. Cool, right? So exciting. Locker room, this is mine, that's the boys, I can't go in there. My locker room. 
my sauna. There's only a few girls here right now, so I'm trying to recruit more girls. Um, but I pretty much have the whole sauna to myself, which is awesome. Um, now we'll walk over here. Matt Ram, Professor Warren, coach in Jiu Jitsu, has been right there. This is our whole bag room area. Cage. Up there is our dorms. So uh, we have dorms here. So if anyone wants to come train, uh, they can come actually stay here and try it out. And then we'll go upstairs. So we've been here for just over six months, I think. It's awesome. Okay, then upstairs we have the Muay Thai room. So this is still a room in progress. It was actually just a cardio room, but they took the whole wall down. The boy sauna, mats, gear. So yeah, I am trying to, because I have surgery on Thursday, I'm trying to get as much, hold on, let me, there we go. As much, uh, I don't know, stuff, or like arm time, because I have surgery on my arm this Thursday, so uh, trying to use my right hand as much as I can. Um, obviously, because I'm right-handed. So, yeah, little bummer. Uh, you know, bummed out, I'm going in for my third arm surgery. Um, I guess that's what this whole first video will mostly be about. Um, so as everybody knows, a quick little backstory of how this all, how I came to have three arm surgeries. So I broke my arm in my fight uh, in January of 2018. Broke my arm in the fight. I was supposed to have one surgery and it was gonna fix the whole thing. Let me set you down. So I was supposed to have one surgery that was gonna fix the whole thing. And so they did, they put a plate in, they put a plate and screws in. Well, six months later, my arm was still completely broken. Um, absolutely nothing healed. So I had what's called a non-union fracture, which means like the bone in my arm actually died. Like it just never grew back. So I had to go in and have surgery number two. So still the first break. I've only broken my arm twice. So I'm going surgery number two. They uh, put a, take the old plate out, put a much bigger plate in. It runs the length of my forearm. So from here to here, all this scar is actually a plate. So they put the new plate in. Well, super quick recovery time. I started taking a ton of vitamins. I started taking CBD to heal my arm. Um, I actually had a really quick turnaround where my arm filled in with bone. They took a bone graft from my hip too. So I have a big scar on my hip where they took some bone to fill in my crack and my fracture site. Uh, arm healed, I was able to fight. It took a whole year, through that whole process it took a whole year. And then I was able to fight January 2019 against Rachel Ostevich. Um, an awesome fight, obviously really exciting. I came out of the fight with a win, a finish in the second round. Then I come back on a high. I was already communicating with the UFC about new opponents for me um, and who I wanted to fight next. And then I sparred and I broke my arm again in a completely different spot. So see this hump? All of this is fracture site. So I broke it, completely different spot, uh, through one of my screw holes. So I actually broke through the screw hole and because there was so much movement at the screw hole site and because there's you know a screw in the way, my arm wasn't able to heal properly. So that leads us to now. I am going in for surgery number three. Of course, the time between the second surgery and me fighting was actually pretty short. You know, I was able to get back into you know a fight within like you know, five months. I was training three months later, fought five months later, and I think that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm still shooting. It's, what month is it? June um, of surgery, you know, this Thursday, and I'm hoping to still fight at the end of the year. Um, but all things are positive. I have some amazing stuff going on in my life right now. Um, I really wanted to start doing vlogs to share kind of the behind the scenes and people only hear little pieces and it's like, you know, journalists, they'll, they'll share what they think is important, but I want to be able to share what I think is important going on in my life and 
uh, that's what we're gonna do with this. So yeah, wish me luck going in for surgery number three and then amongst all the other crazy stuff we have going on, Austin should be fighting in August. Um, yeah, all kinds of cool stuff that we're gonna be able to film and show you guys. So uh, let us know too, always comment below what you wanna see more of. Um, we're, this is kind of a trial trial basis thing so subscribe you know subscribe to our videos we're going to post them once a week for the first portion and then if you like them and if we kind of get a good flow we'll do more so subscribe and comment below what you want us uh, to do on these videos and what you want to see more of any questions you have and we'll get those out there for you so okay thanks